guys, Michael Fowler here again, and it's been one year since I've done a gas mask review video, which <sighs> sad, 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 thing for my dignity. I stopped for a little while, I've been pretty strapped for cash. We expect to see more, I'm probably going to get two or three more. Um, this is just a re-review of, of mask I've already done a review on, I think you all know what it is already. Ship B5, um, you know... Where do I start? I went to my army surplus store today and got another one because mine broke, if you watched that video. It always pissed me off that I never got another one, so... We're gonna set this aside out of the frame. We're gonna start with the bag. The filter. The filter translates GP5 on it. I'll show you. In Russian, and it's got characters on it. Mine's plugged up still, unopened. Not much else to the bag. There's a couple stamps in it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. There's a stamp on the bag. Um, that's it on the bag. It's just a um, simple bag with a simple pulley system. It's got two pouches inside. This I used to store the papers that came around the filter in the front of the mask. Um, for now, I guess that's what I'm going to call it. And it's got a little drawstring. I put it in this pocket on the side, and it goes around and loops around in case you need the side strap. I know it's cheap, but it works. Then we're gonna go on to the mask itself. Um, this is the most common gas mask out there. Um, you can literally go on eBay and get one of these for ten bucks. Um, it's got an inlet valve, an outlet valve. That's where the filter screws are. The goggles or lenses, I guess you could call it. Made out of very thin, cheap rubber, uh, just latex. I'll show you guys the inside of the mask. So, I did not get the in, I did not get the anti fog outserts. Um, that's what the inside of the mask looks like. I had those two tubes right there. Those are Tassat tubes and the. Uh, plug at the end is the XL valve, and there's little flaps to add the inserts, anti-fog inserts, which I don't own. Um, so, mine's size 2 wide. Um, so yeah. We're gonna open the filter. That had no noise to it. Okay, that's weird. Should be safe. Um, the GP5 filter, common thing that people say about this. This is not hazardous, not one bit. It's not even like bad for your health. It's actually these still work. I have no idea what people complain about. There is no asbestos in this. It is not there. People have opened them up. It is not in this. So stop saying it, people. Um, only way older, like World War II era masks, have that issue. So yeah, it looks like it's a filter on. This is going to hurt my hair because my, my luscious, lovely locks I got. Um, I bet you guys can't hear me right now at all because you can't hear if one of these things on. Um, it's quite uncomfortable for my hair, but I suppose it will be what it works. Doesn't fog up too bad. Honestly, it could be a better mask, but, you know, it's, it's a base mask. You, you can't really complain about it. It works, it does its job. Thing in there. That's why I couldn't hear me. But, uh, yeah. I give this mask on my rating CL. You guys are gonna get pissed at me for this. Me out to actually find this to actually be a decent mask. It's not a good gas mask. It's not like good, but it works. It's the it's just the basic gas mask. It's nothing more, nothing less. It just it's, if you're looking for a gas mask, it works, and it's just the basic quintessential. I like this mask personally. I have nothing against it. It's actually an awesome mask. It's a, kind of an up close of the mask. I want to make a longer video. Now this kind of history portion I'm going to throw in at the end on. 
This mask was made in the Soviet Union from the, I believe, what would be the 19, late, late 1960s, they had a version of this that's different, to the end of the Cold War they used GP5s um, as their basic civilian mask, and they sold them to about everywhere. Um, these were used in the Chernobyl disaster at the power plant. That exploded, and, you know, Pripyat, if you go to the school there, you can find PDFDs everywhere. But, more near the exclusion zone with all the gear that they used to go in there, you can find these, actually. Ones that are actually worn by the people who went in there. So, yeah, cool, cool mask. Uh, some stamps on there. Mine says T81, size 2 wide. So, yeah. That's about it for today, YouTube. Enjoy your fucking day.